What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's launch day for the ROG Ally X and I'll certainly have videos coming on that comparing it to the OG Ally and a bunch of other stuff. But also Armory Crate SE 1.5 is out. So I thought we'd take a look at that in this video. We'll look at a couple of comparison pictures to the old Armory Crate and we'll go through a lot of the features in this one and just take a look in general of what is going on when it comes to the Armory Crate SE 1.5 update. It's mostly quality of life and visual changes, UI changes Changes, but all of them are pretty welcome so let's go ahead and get into it all right let's switch to some screen capture here so we can see this a little better and you can see we have a newly designed front page here now I want to compare a few areas in the UI here to 1.4 and 1.5 here 1.4 on the left and 1.5 on the right and you can see a lot of difference when it comes to the game options search uh, the play button, sort by, delete, add, those are all different. Things are moved around and we have a different look in general. And over in our first settings tab, we now have a, a smaller banner, general, update center, performance, and calibration moved into there. So some differences there. And over here on our content page, a larger banner. We've gotten rid of the game platforms and moved that. And then all the other tabs down through here. So definitely some changes there. And there's other stuff too, but I just wanted to show those few different things. And then, of course, scrolling through here, we still have our media media stuff and then our login page and the ability to back up our game profile settings. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the main things that have changed here. You can use your start button to go between your grid view and your list view it can be really handy if you have a lot of games installed we also have the y for search and then hold your m2 and up for your keyboard uh, to be able to easily go in and do that and type and do your search there we also have the new x for game options so you hit x and you get set game profile add to favorites game info remove from library and uninstall game now set game profile i do want to take a minute here this looks similar but we have some changes as we get into it now down here towards the bottom we have gpu settings where we can optimize uh automatically here we can have an fps limiter and we can turn on and off all the different amd features we want per game in our game profiles which is really cool i know that'll be handy for me with a lot of testing and running different games in our key mapping we have a nice change that i really like because if you spend a lot of time mapping stuff you might want to be able to save that mapping more easily and back it up down here you can see my templates and right now it just says import if we go back here and I just reassign not anything, just basically to change it from the default, I'll go in here and we'll just reassign the action to the trigger real quick. Hopefully I remember to switch that one back. And then we'll go up here after I do that and go to select template again now that we've made that change. And you'll see at the bottom now it says Call of Duty Gamepad Mode and it has the differences in there. And we also have the little gear icon. If you click that, you can duplicate, rename, or export. So if you click export, you can now take that uh, and export it into documents. You can share that with people, upload, do whatever you want there. So that's a pretty cool feature they have for that. Now the other thing is add to favorites. So anytime you want to hit X on a game, add to favorites, it'll look a little heart icon and go into your favorites tab. Game info we also had before, it looks a little different I think now, but select game art, edit game art. You can edit the basic information and the tags which will come up when you're searching for your games there if you wanna add tags in. We also have remove from library or uninstall game. Currently if you click uninstall game, it takes you to the apps part of Windows. I'd rather go to each launcher and just uninstall. Maybe there'll be some changes to that in the future, but that's how that seems to act right now. If we hit the view button or the back button on the controller, we'll get this new manage library where we can go in and sort the games. We have search again, which is the same thing, and then customize library. Customize library I really like. Now we have the option between horizontal and vertical with our game layout, which is pretty neat. And then we have cover art alignment, top, center, or bottom here. Bottom kind of reminds me of the Xbox dashboard, to be honest with you. And if we go to cover art size, we can do one, two, three, four, depending on how many games you have or the aesthetic you like, you can adjust that size you can also show the game title or turn that off I like it on because it shows which launcher it's on because I use multiple launchers but you can make that look as clean as you want show the background image you could blur that image more or less or darken the background image whatever you want there so some pretty good customization to really get armory crate SE in this main page kind of looking and feeling the way you want for your games a lot more customization I think they did a great job here uh, giving us that option it looks really nice and I haven't had any problems and it's certainly not clunky um, it's working pretty pretty quick and pretty nice here. Now we have our favorites tab and we have our game platforms tab. So this is where they moved game platforms to. It used to be in the content section or uh, in there and you can favorite or open up 
the launchers here in game platform so that's pretty much it for like the home page and all the changes right here now over in our settings tab we did have those new areas here general has your personalization you can go to windows for time setting we have the launch animation for armory crate se i'm assuming we'll be able to put more animations in there um we also have choose your theme, so dark, light, and align with system. Of course, I'm gonna stick with dark here, but if you're in an area where light's gonna help you out, um, well, you do have that on there, or if you wanna align it with what Windows is doing. We go back over here, we're gonna have our device information, or device info, pretty simple. Uh, storage right under that, again, pretty simple. And our about page at the bottom. Oh, you can also manage your screenshots and recordings in your storage as well. All right, so if we go back here to performance now, this is where we're going to have our operating mode. So they changed this up a little bit, but you go in here and you have those same options you basically had before. And then your system stats showing here for all our CPU, GPU, and fan speeds, your memory, and that stuff listed out here. Really nice, pretty comprehensive. Eco Assist, all these uh, options were there before. And our GPU settings, which we had before as well, with our VRAM options and all the other options we saw here that you can also do per game in the game profiles. Uh, we also have our update center, which there's really no change to. It looks just like it did before. I have another new update that popped up here after I did 1.5. But yeah, nothing major changing there. Although we do get most of our updates through Armory Crate now versus uh, my Asus. We have our calibration area, which hasn't really changed. But calibrate your left stick, right stick, your triggers, and your gyro right in there. And then all the other options we already had here in our settings tab. Our new content page with the larger banner for the campaign where they're really focused on that and then the attention given to the help center and the game deals and all that here. And then of course your area for media and then your area for your account and backing up your game profile settings if you wanna do that through there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sure I didn't hit on everything, but I really like what Asus has done with Armory Crate SE for the Ally. I think it's one of the best software overlays for Windows that we have on a Windows handheld still. Um, Go has a ways to go, as does MSI and some others. Um, but yeah, they've put a lot of work into this. It's quick. It's responsive it hasn't been clunky or buggy for me which has been nice to see and uh, yeah hopefully they keep it up here with armory crate it looks like a really nice update i really like the ui um, and again i haven't run into any problems or seen game performance issues or anything like that with this update but if you guys are seeing anything certainly let me know in the comments down below all right guys thanks a lot for coming and check out the video as always i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one